Welcome to the Realmcast. I am your Mortal Kombat fan, Tim, and with me as always is my co-host, the lore master, Yanni. Welcome, Yanni. Thanks, fan Tim. Today, we're welcoming Uncaged Games. Thanks for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me. So, we usually get started by asking our guest uh, who their favorite MK character is. Who is your favorite MK character? So, my favorite MK character, I think a lot of people uh, probably can figure this out from my username, but it's uh, Johnny Cage. That's why I got <laughs> Uncaged Games. Surprise. <laughs> so, I wasn't sure about that. Yanni kept telling me that that's your favorite character, and I... I thought, you know, maybe it's that's not why. Maybe there's a different reason. <laughs> it's in the name to throw you off. That's what it is. <laughs> it's, it's for competitive. Yeah, yeah. I secretly hate this character. I just put it in my username because. <laughs> that's why everybody, my PSN is I love Jackie. Okay. You know this now. <laughs> so, okay. Tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you kind of get started off with Mortal Kombat? Because right now, I mean, you have a, a very successful YouTube channel. You got a lot of followers, but. Uh, how did this all come about? Where did your love for Mortal Kombat come from? Oh, man. So if we're going to talk about all the way to the beginning, I guess <laughs> my first introduction to Mortal Kombat was uh, with the uh, original Mortal Kombat 1. Uh, my dad bought it on, I think, the Nintendo. And at the time, I was too young, so I didn't know what it was. Uh, all I knew was there was a yellow ninja and a blue ninja. I'm like, okay, cool. I like ninjas. So <laughs> I played that. Um, and then I kind of like... Didn't really do much gaming until when I was in like high school or middle school. I think they started to reboot MK with MK9. And mm -hmm. then they showed off, uh, started revealing characters here and there. And I remember in class and they showed off Johnny Cage for the first time. And then my classmates were like, dude, this is the stupidest character ever. Who, who tattoos the name Johnny on their chest? I'm like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> calm down, guys. This is a pretty awesome character. So then I went home and I made a YouTube channel called Uncaged Games. I'm like, listen. I'm going to rip my boy. And uh, so that's pretty much how everything started. So your channel name is basically your tattoo. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so if I got a tattoo, I would get uncaged tattooed on my chest. Did you start as commenting on Mortal Kombat 9? We know some of your older videos were mostly injustice based, but what were kind of some of the first things that you did? When I started, started on YouTube, I tried to do uh, sketch comedy because uh, at the time, the only people I saw on YouTube were like, um, Niga Higa, Kev Jumba, like all these Asian. Oh uh, man, YouTubers. I remember Niga Higa. I love right, this stuff. Right? <laughs> so I was like, oh, cool, funny Asian guy. I'm Asian. I think I'm funny. So I can try to do this. I tanked so hard. Like I got five views and four of them were for me. So uh, I, I stopped. And uh, then I was, I saw people um, uploading Gears of War videos. And I, I love Gears of War. So I started doing that alongside with Mortal Kombat. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much what I started with. Wow, that's cool. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah, it's an, it's an interesting thing because many, many guests, for example, have started almost specifically with MK, you know, and it's cool to mm. see how you've sort of moved towards MK with that sort of history as well. So at this point, how would you kind of classify or explain your, your channel to people who oh, haven't gosh. seen it? <laughs> <laughs> That's a complicated question right there. So, um, <laughs> I mean, it depends on the time of year. So, like, maybe Mortal Kombat's, like, really hot right now. Then I'll be uploading a lot of Mortal Kombat stuff and people think my channel is a Mortal Kombat channel. Um, and also on Cage Games, people are like, oh, it's a, definitely a Mortal Kombat channel. It's Johnny Cage <laughs> channel. Um, but then I also covered Injustice. Um, I do a lot of like vlogs, unboxings. Um, honestly, it's like whatever I'm feeling like, I just upload. So like I've been doing Avengers videos. Like mm -hmm. I find it interesting that uh, you, well, obviously you named your channel sort of after Johnny, but then it took a while for you to actually get into the MK content. Yeah. When I started the channel, I, I did Gears and Mortal Kombat like kind of the same time. Um, but I didn't really cover cover Mortal Kombat like that mm -hmm. uh, until until later on. So yeah, I guess the name just sounded cool. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, I'll just keep it. Cool. Well, you mentioned that you're, you know, doing unboxings and stuff. We've seen that you kind of go on MK shopping sprees. <laughs> the money there. Does that come out of your pocket or from sponsorships or what? Oh, man. So uh, one of my more popular series is the Buy Everything Mortal Kombat's. And uh, half the time, the money is coming out of my pocket. I try to hold off on doing an episode until I find a sponsor. Uh, but <laughs> then it, it, there's like months of no sponsorships. And people are like, where's another Buy Everything Mortal Kombat? I'm like, oh, God, here we go. So I had to go. And I, I just got to hope 
that I don't fi- like. I hope and also don't hope that I don't find anything because if I find <laughs> something that I don't have in my collection, I'm like, cool, a new thing in my collection. But then I'm like, crap, I'm spending this money. So then I tell everybody, hey, make sure you guys watch this video like a hundred times so I can make the money back. And then most of the time, <laughs> it, it pays off one action figure and that's it. And then the rest oh, of it's out my pocket. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> you must have a great so collection, you- though. Oh, my collection's massive. So you only buy the stuff that you don't already have? Like, it's not like you're going out and buying every single Mortal Kombat no. thing you see that day? <laughs> the, the, when I started the series, that was the plan to buy everything, hence the name. But then I was like, that's a lot of stuff, and that's a yeah. lot of money that I don't want to spend. So I just made it to things that uh, I don't have. Yeah, that's oh, cool. Man. <laughs> Is there an actual video where you show all the stuff you have? Uh... I recently uploaded a video on what's on my shelf, and that's just a small chunk of my collection. A lot of it is in boxes outside of my office because I have no more room <laughs> in my office. So you know, there's only a small part. I haven't shown the whole thing yet. Oh, Gosh, God. that's <laughs> insane. Do you, do you actually have any um, like official ties with Warner, Warner Brothers or NRS that you know kind of help you acquire merchandise or anything like that? Not at all. I don't, they don't send me like the only time I get sent stuff is from the PR team. And that's for like, uh, if there's a special event, like uh, the reveal event for Mortal Kombat, they invited me out for that. And mm-hmm. I got like a swag bag and then they sent me some aftermath, uh, care package. But other than that, the bath collection thing. Yeah. The aftermath collection. After bath. Other, <laughs> other, other than that, everything else I bought. So that's cool. I don't think a lot of people realize that, you know, cause YouTubers kind of get this branded as, you know, like almost like Mortal Kombat or NRS shill factors yep, and, yep. and don't realize that a lot of YouTubers out there are actual fans and spending their own money on on these type of things. Exactly. Yeah, I get a lot of comments saying, oh, um, Cage just loves Mortal Kombat because they send him all this stuff. I'm like, are you not watching the videos? Like I'm buying this with my own money. And then I get the comments <laughs> like, oh, he just returns it afterwards. And there's a couple episodes where I'm in Vegas and I buy a bunch of stuff. I'm not going to go back to Vegas to return the things. I don't understand how to get that. But You just need to do a video of all the figures outside your office and just be yeah. like, do, do these look like they've been returned? Oh, I still have this one from that episode. I still have that one. Yeah. I, I think it's cool because you do get a lot of haters out there, but it's not like you're part of a dynasty of hated YouTubers. <laughs> all right. I'm supposed to be the bad pun guy. This is... <laughs> <laughs> but no, really, like you, you actually handle your haters in stride, which is 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 very admirable. Yeah. Um, because we've had a couple, you know, comment on uh, our linked uh, tweets together sometimes, and oh, yeah, your, your responses always crack me up. <laughs> yeah, I, I I'm fortunate to have uh, a majority of supporters and haters. I do. You know, I mean, if you don't have haters, you're doing something wrong, right? So um, I have a couple haters, but. Most of the time, if I see them, I try to do like a troll comment back or just ignore them for the most part. Cause nah, the troll I don't comments always the energy. best way. Yeah, easily. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, like half the time when I troll them back, they're like, oh, I'm just joking, man. Big fan, big fan. <laughs> <laughs> they just want that response out of you, don't exactly, they? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> We've seen that you've actually been in touch with and possibly even training with Ronda Rousey. How did that come about? Oh, so... I uh, I stream on Facebook. Uh, I'm one of the first 40 Facebook streamers when they started the whole oh, live wow. streaming over there. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, so I, I'm one of the, I call myself the founding 40. No one else calls me that, but I think it's a cool title. Um, so I, I was part of that and I've been streaming there for two years. And one of my uh, partner managers from Facebook, he's like, listen, I got this crazy opportunity for you. All right. Rhonda just joined Facebook gaming and you know, she voices Sonya. You play Mortal Kombat. We want you to train Rhonda. And at first I was like, am I, am I reading this wrong? Like, is there a different Rhonda I don't know about? (laughs) But uh, it was her. And at first I was also thinking about declining that because that's a big thing. And I would be very (laughs) nervous to train. She could kill people if she wanted to in real life. Right. I don't don't worry about that. So I was like, okay. Uh, I winded up just deciding to do it because, you know, it's a, it's a great opportunity. So um, I trained her and uh, she's a very nice person. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> I so I, I I haven't seen this I haven't seen this at all. Yanni's told me about it. So you trained her how to play Mortal Kombat? Yeah. That's cool. Yep. Like did she ever get really mad and break a controller or anything like that? She did not. Actually she was kind of <laughs> calm. I taught her how to play Sonya cuz you know that's that's who she is. Why, why why Sonya? I, I don't know. I don't, <laughs> probably she actually wanted to play Baraka, which I'm like you know, I feel like you would do a lot better with Baraka than Sonya, hey, but good taste. Uh, uh, yeah. I, I taught her how to play uh Sonya and then also there was a celebrity 
celebrity charity event for Facebook that was th- they were throwing, and Ronda was part of it. So she had to be trained by me so she could get good for the tournament. And then she had to oh, fight cool. Dimitri Vegas. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> Are you serious? So, who, who was? <laughs> so here's the thing, right? So Ronda voices Sonya. So she picks Sonya. Dimitri has a Sub-Zero skin. So we would think he would pick Sub-Zero. So I train right. Ronda to fight Sub-Zero. And then he picks Scorpion and then <laughs> and teleport. <laughs> so yeah, Ronda lost, unfortunately. <laughs> Dimitri oh, didn't even pick his own character. <laughs> he didn't pick his own character. You know, the Facebook promos was like, Dimitri's like, I'm Dimitri Vegas. And uh, he's like looking in a mirror. And it's like all this like, <laughs> zero thing on the screen. It's like ice. I'm like, okay, Ronda, we got the sub zero. Slide, slide, slide. You're good. Hey, Scorpion. I'm like, okay, well, this is a, this is a twist. <laughs> <laughs> How did uh, Ronda react to that? Like wh- when you spoke about that later, what did she say? I was like, oh, Dimitri's a punk. <laughs> he's a <sub-zero. laughs> you know. well, yeah, so. Hey, that's it honestly a genius move from him. It, it was, but you know, it was all for charity. So, you know, win or lose, it was just uh, fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's a good point. <laughs> that is great, though. Is Ronda's handle Unblade Games now? <laughs> <laughs> it would be cool if it was. I, hold on, guys. I'm just passing over my pun crown to Phantom. One second. <laughs> 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 so um you did a lot of more combat 9 you did a lot of more combat x and you've kind of jumped into more combat 11 now what's your experience been like with it so far like uh covering the game for mortal combat 11 yeah mm-hmm. oh my god it's been the worst because of uh demonetization that, oh. that, yeah so, that's so uh, interesting so mortal combat 9 when i was covering it i didn't do much of it um mortal combat x i covered it like extensively uh, mm-hmm. And everything was fine. I was uploading like fatalities. I was uploading, you know, everything perfectly fine. Montize. And then Mortal Kombat 11 came out or they announced it. And uh, then the video started getting hit by the yellow icon. And it's like, oh, your mm-hmm. video is getting limited to no ads. And when they say that, it's literally no ads. You don't make any money off of it. All right. Maybe <laughs> like five cents. All right. Is so, that because of the gore and stuff in the in the game? It, it, yeah, I think yeah. it's the gore. But then also sometimes when you like filter out the gore, like I have gotten, I talked to a YouTube rep before about one of my videos getting uh, demonetized and I blurred out, I filtered all the blood so you can't really see it. And they said that this is the timestamp of what your video got demonetized for. And I checked the timestamp. It was literally me playing as Johnny and I did a normal down to uppercut and it got demonetized. What? Wow. Yeah. So, so violence and everything. I guess so. But, <laughs> uh, and then sometimes when I put the word Mortal Kombat in my title, my videos get demonetized too and I have to submit for review and then wait Oof. like 24 hours. And then maybe they were like, okay, you know what? We reviewed it. It's appropriate. You can upload it. And so, so demonetization. So Mortal Kombat gets hit. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, I'm surprised that my buy everything Mortal Kombat didn't get hit because uh, that would have <laughs> sucked real bad. <laughs> But th- that's actually one of the reasons why I did the Buy Everything Mortal Kombat because I love the series so much, but I don't want to stop like uploading anything Mortal Kombat on my channel. So I thought a fun way to still do Mortal Kombat without actually playing the game was to mm-hmm. do the series of me going out and finding stuff. And you're a full-time YouTuber, right? I'm a full-time YouTuber and streamer, yeah. Yeah, so that's crazy. So they're basically saying you can't make money <laughs> Yeah, this it, game. <laughs> it, it was very scary uh, because... Mm-hmm. I uploaded a video of like uh, all the fatalities on like, I think it was Spawn or Robocop or something like that. And the video got like a couple million views. And mm-hmm. usually a couple million views would give me a pretty nice paycheck that would make me okay <laughs> for the month. But because it got demonetized, I made $20 off of that uh, wow. million view video. Yeah. So Gosh. <laughs> it was uh, it was pretty, it was like a punch in the nuts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, at least it's true to form. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, what about your experience in terms of the actual game itself? The game itself, at first, when I was playing at the reveal event, when I got my hands on it for the first time, I was straight up honest to the developers. I was like, yo, I hate, I hate how this game is playing right now. I don't like, because at the time, it was like, if you want to do a special, um, special move or whatever, you had to do a different direction or something like that to do like amplified and I, I hated that so much. Yeah. And uh, then they're like, oh, okay, okay, we'll, we'll take that into consideration. And then uh, thank God they changed it back to just a one button. So that was cool. But uh, yeah, I mean, I still personally like MKX better. I feel like MK11 yeah. a little slow. MKX, it was just like balls to the walls. You got to go ham. But MK11, you got to play a little bit more patient. And it's, it's cool. I know some people like that. I just not a fan. It's yeah, just definitely fair. a different gaming mechanic than than Mortal Kombat X and even Mortal Kombat 9. Mortal Kombat 9 and X were like more similar in my opinion to, to the fight. just took 9 further, I felt. 
Whereas yeah, yeah. Eleven changed it up completely. Mm-hmm. So do you, Do you prefer the older Mortal Kombat games more than Eleven? I'm assuming. Yeah, I, I would say I prefer the other uh, MK games over Eleven. MK Eleven is still a solid game, but uh, in f- in terms of like playing it and watching like high level play, I feel like. I remember the hypest moments being from MK9, uh, MK9 tournaments and MKX tournaments. Yeah. MK11, it's just, I see a lot of just normal, like, spamming, spam. It's like, great, <laughs> great, cool. Yeah, there's not much variety in it, is there? No. One of my favorite videos I've seen recently was a, a Scarlet Fighter versus a Shiva Fighter. And the Shiva <laughs> Fighter kept trying to do the teleport jump oh, thing. <laughs> okay. And- <laughs> Scarlet just kept doing her her blood shield around her and knocking Shiva down yeah. <laughs> the entire match. <laughs> I, I just see these things that I'm like, how do you enjoy playing the game if you're just going to do yeah. this the whole time? Exactly. This is exactly what puts me off of Combat League because it's just people mm-hmm. doing that the whole time. Oh, don't even give me start with Combat League, man. Don't even give me. No, start no, I will. Tell League. me, tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Are we gonna start right now? Are we gonna start talking about Combat League right now? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Well, first of all, Combat League just needs a whole revamp, rework, mm-hmm. because that whole thing is just a mess. First of all, wired Wi Fi filter, please and thank <laughs> you. I don't want to be playing someone and then I'm like two ranks higher than them and I'm fighting a guy two ranks lower. And if I lose, I lose all my points. And then if they win, they get like a hundred something. Uh and their their ping is like a thousand, right? <laughs> and their Wi Fi and I play. Or the ones that says the ping is like 50 and it's still wi-fi but then when you click accept and then you get to the game the ping jumps up to like 700 i'm like i can't back out of this or the, the ones that says the ping is just right under the the threshold that you can't decline the match i hate those ones too because it's like the maximum you can have ping is 300 the guy is 299 i'm like really i can't go down with this one so i had to play it and i'm fighting scorpion and i'm in the matrix so i don't know i just get there I'm so glad it's not me. <laughs> right before this episode, I was asking Yanni about because I really want some of those new skins. Um, and Yanni, you were telling me you have to play was it 50 matches a month you to gotta get a play, skin? Okay, th- basically for Combat League, you need to play five matches a day, ten days in the season, and that's oh, just for the daily challenge skin. Which in this season, season of the Hive, is Barakas. That's ignoring the fact that you still need to get to Demigod. For oh, Cabal skin. Wait, how do, you, how do you get to Demigod? You just gotta win enough points yeah, to get to the Demigod tier. Gosh. And bearing in mind what Cage just said about mm. losing, say, like, if you lose against somebody who is two tiers below you, you will pretty much lose all your points. And then they will gain, say, what, 150 or something? Yeah, one, like, uh, like 100 or something. But the thing is, <laughs> if you beat them, right, you get 10, 10. points. <laughs> 10. So let's say you fight five opponents or no you fight four opponents right and each one of them are all under ranked than you you win all those four matches you get 40 points you lose your fifth match against someone that's two ranks under you you just lost all the points that you just won <laughs> so getting demigod <laughs> is like the worst thing ever i stopped playing it this uh wait was it last season yeah last season the season before that i played it because johnny cage was the skin and of course they had to put a demigod so that was the worst like month <laughs> of my life um i made a video of it when i actually reached the demigod i was punching my chair and uh <laughs> i lost years of my life playing uh combat league yeah so. Wow. so what happens if i play like 10 days but one of those days i only play four matches does that mean i don't get my basic skin no no so basically you need to have done 10 days of five matches in 10 days of the season the season is what 28 days i think uh not a full month but around that much mm-hmm. so you have that many days in terms of chances. I mean, so if if one day I don't play a match, like I only do four out of five that day, do, do I have to do five the next day in order yes. to get? Oh my gosh! <laughs> yes. Yep. Oh, also, don't forget if you get to a certain rank to the higher ranks and you don't play for like two days or something, your rank slowly goes down. So oh, genius implementation. <laughs> it's honestly. fantastic. It's fa- <laughs> Combat League is the greatest thing that came out of twenty twenty. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just so think, glad. Usually, it's me complaining about this, and I'm so happy to hear somebody else get passionate oh, about no, it for once. No, I, I, I love like they add skins that you can get for free that you can unlock because I love that about games. You know, it's free skins; you can just earn yeah. it. But the way you earn these ones is like you fighting five dudes blindfolded. All right, <laughs> so it's not happening unless you're Kenshi. So, <laughs> and I don't think many of us are Kenshi. No, we are, and if you are, that's pretty sick. But. <laughs> 
I mean, honestly, firstly, five matches a day is a bit much. I would have understood three. I honestly would have. That I would have mm, yeah. would have made sense. It would have been reasonable. But five. Yeah. Why do I have to waste an in between 45 minutes to an hour and a half of my life, depending on if people just cancel on me? And you'll get everybody canceling on you if you literally have 1% more chance to beat them than they do you. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you this. What if I, you know, join with Wi-Fi and everybody quits on me? <laughs> How many points do I get then? <laughs> None. <laughs> but see, that, that's actually the secret to winning combat league. You start the match and then you turn on your torrent program. <laughs> <laughs> now that we're in, you know, criticism mode, I came across a meme <laughs> and it was basically Shao Kahn and Sindel. And you, okay. you know the whole hitting blunt meme? Uh, maybe if I see it. I, like, I hits, hits blunt, like, and then you say something which is a fact where... You realize, like, whoa, what? Oh, so okay, in, yeah, yeah, yeah. in, in okay, this yeah. one, it's Wait, let me Kong. preface this. Yanni runs the Mortal Kombat meme realm, so <laughs> Make if, you want to, if you want to know anything about a meme, or if you want somebody to talk about memes for an hour, <laughs> it's Yanni. Now, I can't. I cannot take credit for this meme. This was by Souted on Reddit, and it, it's basically <laughs> Shao Kahn saying, "Hey, if the Sea of Blood is bottomless, why did Karan's ship have anchors?" And then it's got Sindel <laughs> looking at Shao Kahn, and then they both look like. Shao Kahn looks high and Sindel's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and so that 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 basically got me thinking because we have so many of these moments oh, where man. honestly, it, it seems like even the writers could have been high. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so we tested on, on our group, uh, the Mortal Kombat group on Facebook and saw what people were saying about the Sea of Blood. People kept saying, what about the other seas? They could have just used them for the other seas. It's not like they only had like the anchor for just the sea of blood. Okay. How often do you sail from sea to sea <laughs> in, in, in our world? <laughs> I mean, I'll do you one better. Until MK11, what seas did we know of in the nether realm? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> There's literally just the sea of blood as far as we know. So I, why? Why? What's the point? Maybe it's like a uh, regulation on building a boat. You gotta have an anchor. Even if you're not gonna use, you gotta have it. It's Shinox the guidelines. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, but this isn't actually Shinox. It was brought into effect at, from when Lucifer was in power. That must have been it. Yeah. Somebody did say that it could be that so they can anchor on shore, which okay. which does make a bit more sense. Yeah. <laughs> so it I'll does. Give them but that. then if that's the case, why is the anchor so long? <laughs> <laughs> like what was it Raiden throws Garrus into the water with the anchor and yeah. the anchor seems to have so much coil to it <laughs> that there must be a bottom to the sea of blood well the bottomless seas have long bottom shores that's all that is <laughs> Can you imagine pulling up that anchor if you accidentally drop it into the sea of blood? At that point, you just cut the anchor and just lose it because you wouldn't pull that thing up. <laughs> so you're, you're, you're the sailor who drops it in and Corona's like, yo, go pick that shit up. <laughs> no. <laughs> now that you guys are bringing all these up, I'm going to go back and then I'm going to find a bunch of things. And we've just ruined the game for you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Okay, let me just, now even worse. <laughs> Were you a big player with any of the 3D era games or were you mostly uh, kind of around the reboot season that you kind so, of jumped into? So I did play a little bit of the 3D era games um, like the Shallow. I played Shallow Monks. That's I mean, that's a completely different thing, but um, amazing. Game. I played a little bit. Yeah, right. I played a little bit of the 3D stuff, but I didn't really like play it, play it like maybe my friends might have it and I'll go over there or my cousin might have it. I'll play there. But I didn't really like know the characters. I didn't know that much about the lore of each character and all that. So have you actually ever covered uh, much of the older, the pre reboot era on your YouTube channel? I actually have done a couple videos, but that was like way back. I think that I did that for like hyping up MKX release. So I haven't really touched it much now on the channel though. But now Fair I'm afraid enough. to upload anything because demonetize. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I wonder if actually the demonetization would apply to the older games. I don't want to find out. <laughs> <laughs> did that affect your MKX stuff at all? Um, because you have a ton of MKX videos. So when I uploaded MKX stuff in the beginning, everything was fine. But now because of the new system, they're slowly trick like going through and demonetizing certain MKX videos. But for the most part, 
I feel like if the videos aren't getting views, YouTube will be like, okay, there's no point demonetizing this. No one's watching it anyways. Mm -hmm. um, but the newer stuff, they'll just instantly, it's like, oh, this guy uploaded a Shiva match. Demonetize. Yeah. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever participated in any tournaments? So, uh, I participated in one tournament. And uh, I don't do tournaments. All right. Let me preface this. I don't do tournaments because I am a nervous wreck. I my hands start shaking if it's like really under pressure. Like, oh, you got to do this. Like I'm playing like a like a shooting game or something. I'm the last one on the team. They're like, you got to win this or we lose. I get nervous and we, I lose the game. So I can't do tournaments. But I did okay. one tournament uh, for Facebook. And this was the same month when Rhonda had her tournament. So there's two tournaments for charity. One was the celebrity tournament. And then one was the content creator tournament. Um, now, the content creator tournament, I'm going to be honest, that tournament was just super easy and I was in it and I only lost one match and I won the whole thing. Uh, but that's just because they didn't really get many actual MK, like they got a couple fighting game guys, but not really MK players. So it was kind of a clean, clean victory for me all throughout the tournament. So I've only done one official tournament and that's the only one that I won. Hey, so I'm going to retire. I'm going to retire on 1-0. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but do you not want to play Dimitri Vegas? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I actually played Dimitri Vegas one, oh, one no time. Way. Yeah, I think it was a uh, mustard had a had an event with Dimitri Vegas, and it was like fighting him in a King of the Hill with me, uh, Caboose, and I think Unruly. Cool. And I fought him, and I and I did random character select, and I think I I think I went easy on him, or I let him win because everyone else was like demolishing him. I think he didn't win a single game, so I just did oh. random character select, and I just let him win one time, just so he doesn't like get mad. If Dimitri Vegas ever listens to this. That's on you. I definitely did not put down my controller and get a drink. <laughs> I feel I feel so bad for him as you know a, a kind of a face for Mortal Kombat and then not know how to play the game yeah. that well. <laughs> yeah, and, and not yeah. even play your own character, but you know it's here or there. Yeah, yeah I, I kind of felt more bad about the to be honest the voice acting. Now I don't blame him at all. I think it was a very bad decision on, uh, well, NRS's part may, or mm -hmm. whoever was in charge yeah. of that. But poor guy, man. <laughs> like, to be fair, he gave us some amazing voice lines. Like, as you said at the start of this episode, it's like looking in a mirror. And it's that awesome. Is my <laughs> that is my favorite line ever. It's so bad, it's so good. Exactly. <laughs> 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 do you main as Johnny Cage on every time you play or do you have some characters that you kind of re resort to? So everyone just assumes I main Johnny Cage. And for the most part, I did main Johnny in MKX. I did main Johnny in MK9. In MK11, uh -huh. though, I don't like Johnny that much. He's in my top five, but my main would be like Nightwolf or like Collector. So nice. oh, it's Very nice. Uh, see what happens yeah. when you assume, Phantom? <laughs> How could you? I don't know. Just talk about Johnny. Like Johnny, uh, one, of, one of the things I didn't like about him at the start, like when the game first came out, Johnny was like bottom of the list. He was the worst character ever. Yeah, now apparently really was. top tier. Um, but the one thing I just don't like about Johnny to this day still is like his crushing blows are kind of crap. Like he only mm. has one good crushing blow and one variation. So, yeah. Have you not picked him up since uh, any of the um, the buffs? I, I still play Johnny like every other day. It's just, you know, he's not my main. So yeah. when, when right. I go to Sweaty League, um, I'm not picking Johnny because I need the connection to be top notch if I'm picking Johnny. Whenever he was in Mortal Kombat 9, I actually loved playing as him just because he had so many different kick combos that he could do. Yes, yes. And, and they were so quick. Yeah. And like, I mean, Yanni knows this. I'm not much of a tournament player or anything like that. But what? he was just, he was such a fun <laughs> character. <laughs> I no, but I, I think your choices of Nightwolf and Collector are sick choices, to be honest. That, like, those Thank are you. definitely two characters who, especially Collector, who are slept on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I just, um, Nightwolf, I, I wasn't a huge Nightwolf fan, like, ever. I always thought, you know, he was like, okay, cool, Nightwolf's there. But then when he came out uh, for MK11, I picked him up and I'm like, wow, he's actually pretty, pretty solid. I like his combos. He has some lows. He has some overheads. He's quick. He has projectiles. Let's, uh, let's pick this character. And I just stuck with him. And then Collector, I mean, what's better than four arms? I mean, six <laughs> arms, right? So. <laughs> so have you not picked up Shiva then? <laughs> I actually did pick up Shiva as well. Shiva's actually, uh, surprisingly, I thought I was going like, to hate Shiva. Out of the three new characters, I thought it was going to be like, I love Fujin, Robocop, and then Shiva. But surprisingly, it's like Shiva's my favorite character to play as. And then Robocop and then Fujin. Oh, Fujin's your last. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, I need to hear you about Fujin. Tell me your thoughts. I, 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 okay. Don't get me wrong. The character's awesome. Like design and all that. But just his gameplay, I feel like if you don't have the timing down, you are so screwed. You're going yeah. to get punished. 
and your life is gone. Oh, but I, I have been advocating Fujin for so long. And okay, MK11 drops. I am so happy to have Noob Cyborg and Scarlet back. Yeah, immediately my mains. And I'm playing with uh, Frost too. Yep. Fujin drops along with Shang Tsung. These two are my mains now. And to this day, I feel like I'm a good, but also extremely bad Fujin. <laughs> Does that make any sense? But <laughs> it makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense. There was a recent meme. Uh, this is, again, on Reddit. Mr. J17. I have really been sleeping on the meme realm. Sorry, guys. But um, it's basically, don't fuck with us Fujin mains. We waited 14 fucking years for this character, and we can't figure <laughs> out how to play him. <laughs> I think that describes him perfectly. Oh, it's so good. So good. Again, he's so awesome. I, I think his, his fatality, his look, everything. Intro, story, great. But just the timing on the his moves, if you just screwed up by a millisecond, your your opponent drops, and then you're just looking like an idiot with your hands up, and then... You're eating 30%. You, yep. <laughs> I've heard a lot of people say that he actually kind of plays like a MKX or Mortal Kombat 9 character, which is off-putting for Mortal Kombat 11. Mm. Well, when, when somebody commented, uh, I guess shout out to Ben, uh, commented on the meme realm saying... Johnny, do you remember every single meme submitter that you have? <laughs> you, have you have like a folder? You're like, uh, this one. <laughs> no, no, no. Ben, ben is a friend and he commented on uh, the meme basically that I just told you guys about. And he said he has the execution precision of an MKX character with the damage of a Deadly Alliance character. Mm. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Which, for those of you who don't know, Deadly Alliance did not have much damage. <laughs> <laughs> But so, it sounds like you've got a, a solid roster of characters that you pick. Okay, you've mentioned that you, you don't deal well with obviously being nervous. How do you deal with Combat League, man? How do I deal with Combat League? I don't play it. <laughs> I, I don't play it unless there's a skin that I have to get. Like, I, I want to try to get all Johnny skins. So, oh, gosh. I think... Yeah. I think Werewolf Johnny is going to be the, the hard one to get. <laughs> I do. Isn't that one coming in the pack? No, that's in the pack, man. Yeah. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Well, you know, I'm not playing Combat League then. <laughs> <laughs> you want those reptile skins, don't lie. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> we discussed before, the only one I care about is Werewolf Johnny from the, these new reveals. Dude, so. he's so sick. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I, I think all this, I think the, what is it, Samurai Noob? Is it Noob or Sub-Zero? Oh, the Sub-Zero one, yeah. Uh, yeah, that one, something. I, I think that one looks kind of cool. And then the Vora Nurse one is like, mm, it's okay. Is but, that not the sexiest MK11 skin, guys? What? No? Uh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> Cage, you have to tell Yanni why the Teen Wolf Johnny is such a good skin because we've talked about this on a, one of our Tar Cotton Bite Side episode. He doesn't understand how cool the skin that is. Come on. It's freaking Werewolf Johnny. It, like, <laughs> it writes itself. That's like a movie. All right. <laughs> Werewolf by Night starring Johnny Cage. Like, come on. Yeah, that is a compelling argument. Do you think that they will add a werewolf movie to Johnny Cage's uh, sort of resume in MK11? Yes. I, think so. <laughs> I think so. It's coming soon. <laughs> Got to make it canon, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just looking through all the skins now. I did, really, do none of the chitin or reptile skins interest either of you? No, no, no. I, I think they're cool. I think all these new um, combo league skins are cool. But do I really? Like, isn't the, um, the reptile scorpion, isn't that like the final one for like the, the next season? Oh, I don't want to play. They're going to make reptile scorpion. This, this is what? a scorpion skin. In every combat league, scorpion has been either the daily challenge one or the uh, or the first tier, as far as I remember. Well, well, if it's the first tier, then I'm gonna go for it. But if it's the final one, I'm not going through demigod again, dude. That's, no need that's, for that that's hell. Too much. Uh, <laughs> and then there's a Johnny Cage skin in the final one as well, the final combat league, uh, when it wears like metal arms. Yeah. I I hope that one's not demigod as well, because I don't want to go through another controller. But <laughs> I, I like these skins. I just don't want to stress. And like every time I stream my matches of Combo League, my the beginning of my stream, I'm like, yo, what up, everybody? Welcome back to another. And then at the end, I'm like, listen, don't talk to me right now. <laughs> no, silence. I need silence. So you stream all your your games too. Your gaming for the most part. If I don't, um, if I'm not streaming, I'm not playing games. So if I'm if I'm mm -hmm. playing something, I'm gonna stream it. So when people ask me, it's like, what do you do when you're not playing games? Sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a lifestyle it's choice. It's a good life, yeah. I think. <laughs> Besides, of course, the Mortal Kombat stuff, do you have hobbies outside of the gaming community? Uh, hobbies outside of gaming. Um, is that such a thing? Yeah, is that such a thing? <laughs> <laughs> I, my life for the past like year or so has literally been, I wake up 
I stream after my stream. I make a video, upload that video, and then maybe eat, and then maybe do a night stream. Yeah, maybe eat. Sometimes <laughs> there's days where I don't eat until like one in the morning. Oh um, man. Yeah. Uh, my my eating schedule is really jacked up, and also my sleeping schedule is messed up. But uh, yeah, I really don't have time to do any other thing besides stream, make videos, and then on the weekend is when I take some time off from stuff. Uh, that's when I hang out with my girlfriend, and that's that's pretty much it. So I don't have much going on in my life yeah it's a full-time job yeah <laughs> do you enjoy it i do enjoy it um you know it has its ups it has its downs it's like if you put in the work you'll get something back but if i'm slacking i'm not gonna make much that month and then i can't pay the bills and uh bills are gonna be coming in hard soon so gotta <laughs> gotta keep working but yeah. you know i enjoy it I imagine like the future of your channel is you wearing sunglasses shirtless with your name tattooed across your chest. For... <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe when I start hitting the gym again, maybe. <laughs> no better time than now, right? We're all stuck at home as yeah. it is. <laughs> Even before the pandemic, which shall not be named, was came into being, your schedule didn't really change much from all this, has it? No, um... I mean, it has it, it slowed down the buying everything Mortal Kombat's because, you know, that requires me to go outside and I have a camera guy that, you know, he follows me, uh, mm -hmm. but social distancing and all that. So when it first started, uh, it, we were locked inside and I didn't leave my house for for a while because, you know, I don't want to get it. So, yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was just if anything, it made me stream and make more videos because I literally had no excuse not to do it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're like, well. I'm not going outside today. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I, I remember like I was inside for like maybe a month or two months or something like that. I like literally I did not go outside. Wow. So the first time I went outside to get mail, the sun touched my skin and I was like, what? Where am I? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> I get that vitamin D, man. Wow. Dude, oh, yeah. A month. It was it was it was rough. It was rough. One of the first Realmcast episodes we had was with uh Uppercut Editions, the creator of the Mortal Kombat Encyclopedia. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about our time with Final Combat. And that's actually where I met you was uh the Chicago Final Combat tournament, which uh as a lot of our listeners and, and a lot of people who were there know it was canceled the day before the event. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember you posted a, a funny little video on it but yeah. do you want to kind of walk us through your experience on that day oh just because God. that was such a mess for everybody involved that, <laughs> that was the most interesting week was a weekend weekend of my life something like that mm -hmm. um so at the time this whole thing this whole pandemic or whatever has been uh kind of rough it's been canceling events left and right and I was nervous. I was like, "Oh crap! Uh, Final Combat is going to get canceled. This this can't this can't happen. I, I want this to happen. I want to go because you know I want to meet all the the fans. I want to play the new character. And uh, and then what is it? Um, Kara Tagawa is going to be there, and yeah. Keith David, and all of them. And I was like, "Oh, and Todd McFarlane. Find. Yeah, Todd McFarlane. So yeah. I was going to be able to meet them and all that." And then the day the day came where I had to fly out. I woke up in the morning, uh, drove to the airport, still looking online. Everything's a okay. I'm like, okay, I'm literally at the airport. All right, I checked into my flight. I'm on my plane now. I'm still on my phone looking. Everything's a okay. So if I'm on the plane now, the events tomorrow, there's no way that's gonna get canceled. We did it, guys. I turned my phone phone to airplane mode. We fly off. We land. I turn my phone off airplane mode. My phone blew up. All right. <laughs> and then like, because I think I made a tweet. I can't remember the tweet, but it's something like Final Combat. Here I come. Oh, no. <laughs> I, 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 I opened my Twitter when I finally landed. And then people were like, this tweet aged poorly or or Kate, <laughs> oh, no. And I'm like, what, what do you mean? Oh, no. What are you guys talking about? And then I see the, the post. That someone linked me and I thought this was totally Photoshop. It says, uh, unfortunately, we had to cancel this because of blah blah and i'm like okay guys good photoshop and then i realized it came from the official like twitter account verified oh, i'm like so that's you're right, saying that they posted an image of it too didn't yeah, they yeah. <laughs> yep so so i'm like so you're saying that i flew here uh and the events canceled like how 24 hours before really R come on <laughs> come on so i was kind of annoyed because at that point i'm like what do, what do i do now and fortunately for me 
the the awesome people at Warner Brothers, they they flew me out there, so I didn't have to pay for anything like that. And now they did say like because the event's over uh, or canceled for everyone publicly. You could just stay here for a couple of days because they had us out for a couple of days. Uh, or if you want, we can fly you home early. So at that point, I'm like, I'm already here. So I guess I'll stay a couple of days. And then that's where uh, Caboose and a couple of us um, heard that a lot of people were ga- uh, gathering at the arcade. So went there and uh, fortunately, I got to meet some of you guys. And uh, overall, I turned the weekend didn't go the way I planned, but it was still <laughs> pretty enjoyable. Yeah, it was. And luckily... Uh, Warner Brothers went through and refunded um, yes. everybody on there. That's fantastic. Their- oh, did they? See, that, that's a, that's mm-hmm. a thing that I got to give them props for because I know some companies probably would not do that. They'd be like, oh, well, yeah. you're out of luck. But they actually uh, were really awesome. And if anyone did pay for flights or whatever, they would uh, get your, your money back. I unfortunately drove there 10 hours oh. <laughs> and arrived at like, I think it was 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. And they did not cover that expense so that okay wow. if i was you i'd be pretty angry as well so <laughs> wow but i, I give them props because they do give ticket refunds and they did refund everybody's plane tickets because there are people flying in from overseas puerto rico yeah. australia like all over the place mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> yeah but that, that weekend went crazy yeah see you guys should have done what i did what i, I just did um <laughs> <laughs> I exactly. do not envy you at all for that, though. That, that it sounds like such a bad... I mean, the flight itself, that's that's cool, you know? Like, taken care yeah. of, and mm-hmm. obviously, WB being kind enough to pay for everyone, that's great. And then getting pretty much a free weekend out of it, but yeah, Phantom, oof. <laughs> <laughs> uh, luckily, also, they still had, because uh, I was out, invited out there for the event, but then there was also that special spawn capture session, um, so I got to record early spawn gameplay. So I got, I still got to do that, which I was like, okay, I still oh, right. record spawn though, and they're like, uh, we're gonna figure that out. So I was really nervous that I was not gonna be able to, but luckily <laughs> I was able to. And um, then they still gave me some cool like spawn, uh, Tom McFarlane figure and uh, a comic book, which uh, I think everyone was supposed to get at the event, but now I don't know how people are getting that. But a comic yeah. book. Yeah, so I got I got a uh, Todd McFarlane like Spawn issue, but it's a variant Mortal Kombat cover where Ooh. it has Spawn from MK on it. And I looked up online and I can't find anything about it. Like I don't see a lot, a lot of people having it, so I don't know if it's I guess rare now. I don't know, but I'm <laughs> I'm just waiting for them to be like, all right, here's the Spawn comic. But that's they that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, so that's one thing I wanted to ask you about. So you get to actually show up and kind of get your hands on the games before they're released. Is that right? Uh, sometimes, yeah. Sometimes they have special events and they uh, fly some of us out. Well, actually, the only time they fly uh, us out is for like the big, big events. So mm-hmm. there was, uh, I think Terminator was, uh, they, they invite us, right? They're like, hey, well, we have this capture session at this event. We'll love to have you there if you want to, you know, join. I'm like, sure. But they're not going to pay for flight or anything. That, like, there was one event <laughs> at uh, TwitchCon where Terminator was recordable, and I had to fly myself out for that. And many other events. And I'm perfectly fine with doing that, you know. I appreciate when they do fly me out, but I, I flew myself out for that uh, and recorded Terminator. And that was the only reason why I was at TwitchCon. I'm not a Twitch streamer, so I literally had no purpose of being there except for Terminator. Oh, that's right, because you only stream on Facebook, is that right? Yes, yes, I'm only streaming wow. on Facebook. Okay. Do you do you upload your streams after on YouTube? I don't upload my streams to YouTube. I only like sometimes if there's a really funny thing that happens, I might make it like a highlight. But mm. uh, it's rare that I upload that just because I don't want to go through the footage again. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. I don't blame you. Spend the whole day on it. You don't want right. to look through it again. Exactly. <laughs> so you've mentioned you obviously you you made some friends in the community uh, when you headed down for Final Combat, and you've mentioned you're still in touch with a couple of them. Any that specifically stick out? Uh, well, I met the, the uppercut edition guys. They were awesome, right? Um, yeah. They gave me they gave me a book. They gave Ooh. me one of the prototypes. Oh, that's right. Which is awesome. The encyclopedia. Actually, tell us about the book or the the compendium. <laughs> yes, the compendium. So I was I was honored with this great book, <laughs> right? It was so like I have seen this thing go through so many versions, and this version that they uh, they were awesome enough to give me was just so clean and I like I really want to see this thing fully made because I I feel like I'm invested in this seeing through the whole process here but yeah I was I was honored I was shocked that they're like hey we want to give you this book and I was like R- me <laughs> talk to the right guy me <laughs> and uh, yeah so I uh I, I got home and uh, made a little video on it 
And people are like, where, where can I buy this book? I'm like, listen, you got to tell NetherRealm, you got to tell Warner Brothers, because uh, that's the only way we're going to get this thing made. Oh, yeah, yeah, that needs to definitely get made. I'm, I'm waiting for Warner Brothers to say, we need to have this. <laughs> yeah. Because they showed it off there, and everybody who saw it was it, it, like just blown away by it. So you, you've been able to a- attend the, the TwitchCon, and you've done the Final Combat. Have there been any other big events that you've managed to attend? Uh, before this whole pandemic happened, uh, I usually go to almost any event I can attend. Uh, mm-hmm. So I think last year I flew like 12 times. Um, and there was like some months where I flew twice to different events. I've been to like PAX East, PAX South, PAX West, E3. Uh, I, I was supposed to be at Final Combat. Um, so I pretty much go to any event. But most of the time I go there because uh, if Facebook is there, they have a booth. I like to go and like show my face, you know, be oh, like, yeah. hey guys, it's me. It's one of the founding 40. Uh, so I like to do that. They're Just like, so they're the like founding 40. What? Yes. We're making that a thing on this episode. <laughs> like, We're making that a thing. Who's this guy? Un- uncrazy gamer or something? I'm like, get out of here. I'm like, oh, guys, I'm a partner. So I like to do that. I like to go to events. And I, uh, like I said, I don't really have much hobbies outside of like making videos and streaming so i'm usually on my computer a majority of the week so any chance i get to go outside and interact with people i'm gonna take so i like flying to these events and uh meeting and that's a great place to meet fans as well so yeah that's cool so do you have any uh tentatively planned coming up that you'll be at there was uh one event that was uh supposed to happen this year but I think they canceled it like last week. So I guess I'm not going to that one either. Um, And honestly, even if they opened up events, I probably don't feel comfortable enough to go. Like, I don't feel safe, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. that definitely makes sense. With the Final Combat, which it was probably the last event you got to attend, wasn't it? They at least got to do something afterwards at Galloping Ghost Arcade. Yeah. And even there, you know, there was still everything was starting to come in the air and everybody was a little bit afraid. So uh, it'll be interesting to see when a new event does occur what's going to happen and, and how people are going to react to it. Yeah. Cause uh, that, I think, I think it, it might be that event. The final combat trip was my last trip that I had. Like after I came home from that, like things went crazy with the world yeah. and it shut down everywhere. So that was the last um, proper human interaction I had with people. Uh, and at the time, like I knew it was still a thing. Like the news was brewing of this whole pandemic. So like every time I like met someone, I shook their hand. I, I would like instantly pull out hand sanitizer and just hand sanitizer. <laughs> so like my, my hands were super dry at the end of the night. But, uh, you know, I still kept it in the back of my mind. But it's like I'm there. I'm just not going to be like, hey, wave and not shake your hand or something. Because I feel like that's just kind of a, a rude thing to do. But <laughs> you can do the elbow bump. <laughs> Yeah, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm not, at this point nowadays, I'm just gonna give you a head nod. I'd be like, hmm, that's, <laughs> that's that's all I'm doing. <laughs> so at the time of this recording, basically, there's supposed to be some upcoming news from NRS on what is possibly Combat Pack Two or Three, depending mm-hmm. on how they're addressing uh, aftermath. Mm-hmm. Uh, have you heard anything or it, any leaks that really stick out to you? Uh, so I get sent leaks, not as much anymore, but because I've um, started to not cover leaks on my channels because mm. I feel like every day there's a new person posting <laughs> on Twitter saying my uncle's uh, mother's a janitor at Warner Brothers and she saw this <laughs> on the board and these are the characters. I'm like, really? <laughs> really? And then other times there's like someone taking a picture and they're like shaking their hands so it's super blurry. It's like, what am I looking at here? <laughs> so there's always a, like a fake leak every day and people you know, want me to cover it. I'm like, listen, I don't cover leaks anymore, but I see other content creators doing it. I think there's a conspiracy theory that the YouTubers actually made the leaks so they can make the news videos. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, because, uh, listen, I see these guys making videos after videos and it's, you know, they get views, but yeah. it's not real. Like, how many times can you say this character's confirmed in the game and they're not in the game? Like, come on. <laughs> so, what's it's like, next it's for... It's like you have a, a dynasty of debunked videos. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm walking away, guys. I'm walking away. Hold on. Anyways, um, so what What's next for Mortal Kombat? Uh, I like, I don't know. Um, but like, uh, Ed Boon did say that there's going to be more stuff. So I hope it's more than just these combat league skins and the last Halloween skin. Uh, I 
really, really hope that we get another compact because if you guys have been following me, like I really want Ash in the game. Like I there's been rumors of him being in the game since first comet pack and then there was stuff that happened and he's not in the game but then every time there's a new leak they're like oh ash is in the leak i'm like okay <laughs> uh really it's like get cage are you excited ash is finally coming you guys said that for the past like three dlc releases like i don't i don't <laughs> see him yet so don't even get my hopes up now even like what is it uh richard epcar did a little video of him saying yeah bruce campbell is going to be in a new new pack i'm like even that right there doesn't even give me hope anymore i'm <laughs> done getting my hopes up we recently had a, a tarkon bite size episode on this the same topic and yanni has never seen an evil dead movie or, or like anything associated with Evil you Dead. You really got to throw me under the bus on a Rumpcast episode. Look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it was nice talking to you guys. I'm going to... My theory is that actually Ash got replaced by the Joker with some of the same movesets. Just, you know, maybe they, they tweaked him a little bit. But it, it kind of makes sense in my head that, you know, his his bat gun puppet would have been a boomstick and maybe his uh, his fire extinguisher that he hits you over the head with a salter bottle, bottle, whatever it is, would have been Ash's uh, chainsaw and things like that. Um, so I I don't think we're going to be getting Ash or if we are, it's going to be like uh, they're going to have to go through a whole new mocap session for it. So here's my thing. I don't look at leaks anymore because all of them are BS. But like <laughs> the very beginning there was one leak, like this is one of the first ones, and did say the characters, and like every character mm-hmm. named off was right. They said Terminator, they said, uh, who else was it? Shang Tsung, Night Wolf, whatever, and Ash was on there, and also Joker was on there. So, they did say two of the characters, so I think something happened with legal issues with Ash, and then they mm-hmm. replaced him with Joker, that's why Joker looked like crap in the first trailer, <laughs> and so I think... I, I can see what you see saying about the Joker gameplay being Ash's gameplay, but like if we think about it, also in the trailer there was like that chainsaw noise, and then yes, they yeah, thank easily you. gave <laughs> they could have easily gave Joker a chainsaw, which he has wielded at one point, but they didn't. So if they gave him a chainsaw, I would be like, okay, it, it, Joker replacement, that's fine. But they didn't <laughs> give him a chainsaw. So that's my only thing. I still think there is hope, but I'm not wishing for Ash in the game because if I get my hopes up again and he doesn't show up, I'm going to cry. So right now I'm just going to say he's not in <laughs> combat. All right. He's not going to show up, guys. So if he doesn't show up, cool. I'm fine. But if he does show up, I'm going to break some tables. <laughs> With a chainsaw. With a chainsaw. I'm going to go out, buy a chainsaw, break a table. And then buy a new table. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, your theory is pretty much what I was saying as well. I don't go as to the same extent as uh, Phantom with how they've changed possibly his uh, the animations and such and the mocap for the Joker. But as you said, in the, in the initial trailer, we did hear that chainsaw mm-hmm. noise and that was mm-hmm. later on changed to laughing. And then also, as you said as well, the Joker did look like crap at first. Yeah, yeah he looked like <laughs> Play-Doh, dude. He looked like, I don't know, man. <laughs> One of my favorite memes was the one where they showed a a Brazers version of Joker, and then they compared it against oh, Nether Realms oh Joker. God. Oh god! <laughs> and they said, "Who did it better?" <laughs> <laughs> Well, Uncaged, where can our fans listen to you? Where can they find you? Uh, you can find me anywhere on uh, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. It's all Uncaged Games with a Z at the end because S got that was my original account that got copyrighted, and uh, so I had to make a new one. So that's Uncaged Games with a Z. Oh, wow. really? So you used to be <laughs> Uncaged Games with an S? Yes, I used to be the OG Uncaged Games with an S. <laughs> but then at the time, I uploaded a bunch of videos with music in them, and at the time, you could do that but then youtube got really strict and then copyrighted my video so then i had to create a new channel and you know what yeah. i like the z better so yeah oh mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> it's edgy <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> like uh before we let you go what is your favorite finisher in mortal kombat oh man okay so uh, i'm pretty sure there's something like a lot better out there but when when someone asks me what's my favorite finisher what's my favorite ta- fatality the first one that always pops in my head like instantly is the MKX Johnny's here's Johnny fatality. I don't know why that's just nice. it always pops up. Everyone's like, what's your favorite? Oh, here's Johnny. That's the one. I, I just think it's awesome. So. That's that's what y- Yanni thought you were going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I said, really? I, I'm, I'm calling it. He's going to say this one and I got it. <laughs> yep. Bingo was a name. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good choice. In case, is there anything else you'd like to plug before we let you go? Uh, well, first of all, I want to say thank you for having me on. I really appreciate it. My schedule is very busy, but, you know, I had to uh, show show you guys some support. And um, thank you. I mean, 
If you guys have not yet, check out my videos uh, to buy everything Mortal Kombat. If you guys want more of those, watch the videos over and over again, like a thousand times, so I can <laughs> afford to make more. And uh, yeah, I stream on Facebook uh, Monday through Fridays at 1 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Yep, and everybody keep in mind that is on Facebook, not Twitch. So. Yes, yes. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, I've got that a lot. Why, why are you streaming on Facebook? Listen, if you give it a shot, it's actually pretty cool, so... <laughs> Well, Uncaged Games, thank you so much for joining us today. We, it was a pleasure to have you on the Realmcast. Thanks, man. Hey, thank you for having me. And thank you for all of our listeners for stopping by. You can find Yanni and myself, Phantom, on the Mortal Kombat group on Facebook, as well as Yanni on the Mortal Kombat meme reel. Special thanks to our friends at Uppercut Editions, who are creating the Mortal Kombat compendium. They can be found at Encyclopedia MK on Twitter. You can catch up on all episodes of the Realmcast on YouTube, Facebook, iTunes, and Spotify. Thank you. We are sexy. We are sexy bitches. This is re-goddamn-diculous. <laughs>